Hey, hello everyone. Uh, sorry, I haven't been updating for a few weeks or probably a few months here. It's been really cold and it has been raining a lot lately. Raining a lot in California and solved some of our uh, drought problem. But I'm just going to give you a little update on this tank. As you can see, I moved the water heater into the main tank here. And I just set it on the lowest setting and it's maintaining around 66 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Fishes are doing way much better now because before it was getting way below 50 and I think I lost one fish to the cold. And I didn't record what I was doing throughout the week but when it got a little bit sunny and a little bit hot, certain days I made this little overflow. I drilled a hole into the tank. I didn't know it was tempered enough, but I just took a chance and I was able to make a hole through the tank and then so it can lift out all the waste that the fish produce on this end. And then it also creates a little, I got a little bucket here that kind of use it as a swirl filter. And then you can see all the waste goes into the center there and I got the pump connected to a bottle that I cut out and made like some sort of extra filter so when the water goes back in there it's not as dirty so I just made a little little changes um, I feel a little bit more of an improvement because now I, ha I don't have to like clean the pump as much or yeah I haven't cleaned the pump yet swapped this out probably last week and then when the water comes back up here I got the smaller tank because I plan to put the fry and stuff, but right now I got those uh, little mosquito fish in here and only, I put the mosquito fish fry back in here and then they went into the overflow on this end and down back into the drain in there and I think two of them died or got eaten because I only got three left, three fries left in uh, this tank. And if you can see them and stuff there, they're doing pretty well. The fry grew pretty big. I'm not sure where they're all at right now. They usually swim around. Let's see if we can get from a top view here. And I made this little, from the pipe it comes in, we fills the water in here and also adds an air, extra air into the water. So I thought that was uh, great. So it adds that extra air into the water as it pumps water in here. I'm gonna put a little filter. I need to probably swap out to look how much uh, whatever's growing on there. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna probably change the filter out, put a new one in. And then, then for the plants, it's been cold lately, so the only thing that's been growing is this plant here. Yeah, they sprouted so much I have to move some more onto this side here but we the basil started dying off I'm hoping maybe during the spring they'll just come back to life but let's see and I got these little baskets to hold them into because it seems to work much better I could just lift them out and change them whenever I want instead of trying to dig it out and stuff yes. You know, the Thai chili, they're doing okay, but they're just not growing anymore. I got the bell pepper. There's the bell pepper here that's huge, but it flowered, but it never grew because I think it's just been too cold lately. So hopefully, hopefully it's not cold during the summer and hopefully the heat comes back. I'm surprised I can't see where those mosquito fishes are. Maybe they're in that little hiding spot, but they blend into the water because their skin is almost, almost kind of like clear. But look like the siphon's about to go. We'll take a look at that. And then right now I feed the fish since they haven't been fed yet. Try to get their food out. Oh, and here it comes. Siphon. 
Look at that, they're hungry. They know food is coming. And I think the, the recent cold, the tilapia hasn't been eating as much and hasn't been growing as much, but the goldfish, they're doing well. I think they're, the three goldfish are outgrowing the tilapia and I think they're eating most of their food. So I think I'm gonna probably take them out, have the tilapia themselves until they grow a little bit bigger. As you can see, the overflow is working, but I think I made the hole too small because it fills up almost to the top slower than the water can take back up. All right guys, that's the little update. I'll start doing some more videos uh, when the heat comes back in a little bit because it's been way too cold. Let's see what the temperature is. 57 degrees right now. All right guys, uh, if you guys haven't liked my video and subscribe, please go ahead. I'll shoot some more video. Hopefully these tilapias get bigger and show you. I'm gonna try to see if I can probably start a colony with them, start breeding them, but I don't even know if they're male or if there are any females in here, but we'll see when the springtime hits. All right, thank you.